Get ready, rugby fans, because the ultimate battle for supremacy in the Southern Hemisphere is about to unfold. So grab your scrum caps and let's take a look at how I think the rugby championship will go. Number four. Australia. Now, Australia are a bit of an unknown quantity right now. Uh, obviously, Eddie Jones has taken over as the head coach of the Wallabies, uh, following on from Dave Rennie, who was in charge last year. Neither were doing particularly well. Australia were doing fine. They had a good comeback in, was, I think it was their last game was against Wales. They had a good comeback in that. But against that Wales team, they should never have really been that far behind to have a comeback from that. And Eddie Jones' England team had been all over the place but they also haven't exactly improved after he's gone so it's kind of hard to tell where they're at but I can just I can only judge them on the performances that they'd had and that Eddie Jones had they'd not been particularly great of course Eddie Jones is one of the best head coaches of all time but has he lost his touch. I guess we will see. Of course Australia have some fantastic players like Will Skelton who's probably one of the best second rows in Europe right now along with players like Quade Cooper, Michael Hooper and Rob Valentini as well just to name a few. But I think they will probably struggle in this championship. They go away to South Africa for their first game. I think that's going to be really really hard for them. I think they will probably beat Argentina at home in that second game and then will probably lose to New Zealand in that last game. I know they have New Zealand at home but they don't have that that great record against New Zealand at home still but you know Bernard Foley ain't in the squad this time so who knows but that New Zealand game in Australia is often quite close so I think they will probably get a losing bonus point in that game so I think they'll finish fourth on five points losing to South Africa and New Zealand and beating Argentina three Argentina now even though I said Argentina would lose to Australia I still think Argentina will finish above them technically in the table now Argentina did have I would say probably by their standards quite a good 2022 uh, they beat Scotland in a three match test series before going on and beating New Zealand in New Zealand and Australia as well in the last year's rugby championship before coming north to beat England at Twickenham but they also did lose to Wales in a pretty poor performance and then got absolutely blown away by Scotland at Murrayfield as well so their form was a bit up and down last year but I think for them it was a pretty good year they also have some fantastic players as well like Pablo Matera and um, Sanchez Emiliano Buffelli who I thought was a world player of the year last year but he was absolutely fantastic for club and country last year I think he was the top point scorer in international rugby last year I'm not 100% sure about that but I think he was this rugby championship they will be a victim of the travel having two away games. They have to travel around 22,000 kilometers during this rugby championship just by how their games based around but someone's always going to have that issue. However I do have a that travel might benefit them a wee bit in that first game against New Zealand which I think they might actually win. They showed last year they have the quality to beat New Zealand who aren't playing particularly well right now. They've already replaced their head coach for after the World Cup. But with this New Zealand game, I just kind of have a feeling that Argentina would win. It was a feeling I had in the Six Nations for Scotland against England. But I went against that and said England would beat Scotland. And that ended up being the only result I got wrong in the Six Nations. So this time, I'm going to go with my gut and say that Argentina are going to beat New Zealand in this championship. But again, that travel thing, I think is going to come in for them against Australia and South Africa. Don't think they will win but I think they will probably get a losing bonus point against Australia who also have a bit of a travel problem there as well so I think they'll get a losing bonus point against Australia and they'll win against New Zealand without a bonus point and it will finish on five points but I think the kicking of players like Buffelli will help them just be above Australia in that points difference and so I think they'll finish on the same points as Australia but be just ahead of them in the table. Two, New Zealand. Now in second I've gone with New Zealand. They've not been great over the past few years and like like I said, they've already replaced Fozzie for after the World Cup, but they also particularly struggle in the truncated championship. Now, they didn't win the last one and they didn't win the one before that. The last one was won by South Africa and the one before that was won by Australia. And you know, a lot of people say, oh, well, they're preparing for the World Cup and that might be true, but I think you can only use that excuse so many times before realizing that I think they rely a bit heavily on those home games in this rugby championship and without getting to play everyone twice, they struggle a bit. You know, of course, they have fantastic players like Damien McKenzie and Will Jordan and Brody Rattali and Cody Taylor but those not having those home games and away games 
I think they will not win this rugby championship. Like I've already said, I think they will lose to Argentina in that opening game. But I also think by having the South Africa game at home, they will probably win that game and then go on and beat Australia as well. They might beat South Africa, but I don't think they will pick up enough points to pass them in the table. So I think they'll get a losing bonus point against Argentina. I think they'll beat South Africa without them getting a bonus point. And I think they will beat Australia without them getting a bonus point either, which means they'll be on nine points in this championship. First, South Africa. Now, of course, that means in first, I've gone with South Africa. Now, even though they haven't been at their best, like we saw in the 2019 World Cup, which is a bit, seems to be a bit of a theme in this championship. None of the teams are really playing the best they could. But if you're playing along at home, you'll have already known how I think these games will go. I think they will beat Australia without getting a bonus point. Australia also won't get a bonus point in that. I think they will lose to New Zealand, like I said previously, but they will crucially gain a bonus point in that game. And they will also get a bonus point win over Argentina at home, which is something they seem to do quite commonly, which will leave them on 10 points in this championship one point more than New Zealand who will beat them in the championship according to me. They'll be going into that Argentina game already knowing the score of New Zealand Australia I believe so they'll know what they'll have to do and that's why I think they'll be able to get a bonus point in that game because they'll know that they will probably need that bonus point to guarantee the win. Now I don't think South Africa are absolute world beaters at the moment uh, they're still trying to get their sort of new tactics working um, which you know potentially could make this whole prediction a bit up in the air because they might be trying out different things but as long as if they can get some stability at that I can definitely see them winning this rugby championship. But to be honest, if this table was flipped upside down, I wouldn't be shocked. I think any of these teams can win this championship. I don't think there'll be any record of breaking scores in this year's championship. But if you want to find out what those are for each team, you can watch this video right here. Thanks for watching.